good day! This is Miss LM and we're back again for another math video and today we're going to talk about graphing systems of linear equation. So we have to have a recap about graphing linear equations and that's what we're going to use in graphing systems of linear equation. Let's have these first two linear equations and we're going to graph this in one Cartesian plane only. So for the first linear equation x plus y is equal to 10 we can use the x and y intercepts and to find the x intercept we have to let y equals to 0 if y is 0 x is equals to 10 so the x intercept is 10 and we're going to plot that on the x axis positive 10 then for the y intercept we have to let x equals to 0 so we have 0 plus y is equals to 10 and y is equals to 10 we have the y intercept 10 and we're going to plot that at the y axis positive 10 this is our cartesian plane hanapin natin si positive 10 ng x so this is the positive 10 x axis we're going to plot the first point there and then for the y intercept here is the y-axis and this is our y-intercept positive 10. We're going to put the point there. Then after that, we have to draw a straight line. We have to use a ruler para po maging straight line po yung maidodraw na line. And this will be our first line or graph of the linear equation x plus y is equals to 10. Next po, we have 3x minus 2y is equals to 10. In this case, we all know that 10 divided by 3, magkakaroon tayo ng decimal value. So, mahihirapan tayong gamitin si x and y intercepts kasi magkakaroon tayo ng decimal value and hindi natin siya kayang malocate exactly sa ating Cartesian plane. So, hanap tayo ng ibang method on how we can graph this linear equation. Aside from x and y intercept, we can use the slope and y intercept. We we can use the short method wherein the slope is negative a over b and the y-intercept is c over b. So for the slope, we have to identify our a, which is the numerical coefficient of x, and that is positive 3. Then for b, we have the numerical coefficient of y, and that's negative 2. Negative of negative 3 over 2, that is positive 3 over 2, and this will be our slope. For the y-intercept, we have c divided by b, and c is positive 10 then b is negative 2 and 10 divided by negative 2 is negative 5 so the first point that we have to plot is this negative 5 and when we say b that is y intercept we have to locate on our y axis negative 5 dun po tayo magpa-plot ng point and then using the slope rise over run we have 3 units upwards and 2 units to the right to the right siya kasi positive po yung ating slope so 3 units upward 1 2 3 and then we have 1 2 for the second point nandun siya sa positive 2 and negative 2 again 3 units upward 1 2 3 and then 2 units to the right 1 and 2 second point is on 2 and negative 2. Then, draw the straight line passing through the first line and magkakaroon siya ng point of intersection. Ang coordinates nun ay positive 6 and positive 4. Then, this is considered as the solution to this system of linear equation. And dahil intersecting po yung lines na nag-uo natin, alam natin na ito ay intersecting lines are consistent system. Etong x plus y is equal to 10 and 3x minus 2y is equal to 10. If this is a system, then it is a consistent system. Now, let's have our second example. Here, we have y is equals to x plus 4 and x plus y is equals to 9. So, for the first linear equation, y is equals to x plus 4, this is already written in the slope-intercept form. So, we can use the slope and y-intercepts to plot the point or to graph this linear equation. So, the slope is the numerical coefficient of x and that's positive 1 and the y-intercept is positive 4. For the slope, since that's positive 1, that means we have 1 over 1, 1 yung rise and then 1 yung run. This is our Cartesian plane. The first point that we have to plot is the y-intercept and that's positive 4. So, hanapin sa y-axis si positive 4, dun tayong magpapagawa plot ng point. Then, using the slope 1 over 1 or rise over run, 1 unit upward and 1 unit to the right. So, dun po tayo magpa-plot ng ating second point. There you go. Ang second point natin ay nasa 1 and 5. Then, we have to draw the straight line passing through that two points. Hanggat maaari po, extended yung line natin dun sa kabuoan ng ating Cartesian plane. Okay? Then, from here, we are going to graph the second equation. The second equation is x plus y is equals to 9 
and we can use x and y intercepts since ang numerical coefficients naman po ni x and ni y ay 1 lamang. So, hindi tayo may hirapang mag-divide sa 9 or sa ating constant. To find the x-intercept, we have to let y equals to 0. And if y is equals to 0, x is equals to positive 9. So, the x-intercept is positive 9. Then, for the y-intercept, we're going to let x equals to 0. So, 0 plus y is equals to 9 and magkakaroon tayo ng y which is equals to 9. So, the y-intercept is positive 9. Now, ipaplot natin yan. x intercept is positive 9. So, magpa-plot tayo dun sa ating positive 9 ng x. And, for the y-intercept, positive 9 din po. So, nandito siya. Ipa-plot din po natin doon yung second point. Then, we are going to draw the straight line passing through the two points. And then, the point of intersection will be the solution for the system. And, as you can see, kung mapapansin nyo, hindi siya exact, hindi siya positive 2, hindi rin siya positive 3. At the same time, hindi rin siya 6 and hindi rin siya positive 7. So, kung ito Ito po ay ating i-check sa isang graphing calculator. Makikita natin na ang kanya point of intersection ay nasa 2.5 and 6.5. Nasa gitna ni 2 and 3, nasa gitna ni 6 and 7, kaya siya ay 2.5 and 6.5. Or, we have 5 over 2 and 13 over 2. Same lang po sila. And again, intersecting po yung lines at kapag intersecting yung lines, this system is consistent system. In graphing system of linear equations, we use the different methods in graphing linear equations. So, meron tayong iba't ibang methods na pag na natin before and I will put the link down below sa description box para ma-recall ninyo on how to graph linear equations. So, meron tayong by two points, by x and y intercepts, and by slope and y intercept. And, ito po, x and y intercept, and by slope and y intercept, yung pinaka padaling paraan on how we can graph the linear equations within the system. So, let's have another examples. So, graph the following linear equations in one Cartesian plane. 2x plus y is equals to 7 and negative x plus y is equals to 1. For the first equation, as you can see, we have here 2 and then the constant is 7. If we divide 7 by 2, there will be a decimal point. And mahirapan tayong magplot kasi we don't know the exact point kapag meron tayong decimal value. In this case, gagamit tayo ng slope and y-intercept. And para mas madali natin mahanap ang slopes and y-intercept, again, we can use the short method. To find the slope, we have negative a over b. Ang a is the numerical coefficient of x and that's positive 2. Then, the numerical coefficient of y, that is b, and negative 2 over 1 will be our slope. So, no need na to divide it by 1 kasi kailangan din naman natin yung rise over run. So, ito na yung slope na gagamitin natin. Then, for the y-intercept, we have c over b. c is positive 7 and then ang y is positive 1. 7 divided by 1 is 7. So, yan po yung unang point na ipa-plot natin. Y-intercept is positive 7. So, i-plot natin siya doon. Then, using the slope, negative 2 over 1. So, meron tayong rise. 2 units upward. 1, 2. And then, yung run natin, since negative yan, papunta po sa left. So, 1 unit to the left. And, dun tayo magpa-plot ng ating second point. At, ang second point na yan ay nasa negative 1 and 9. Then, draw the straight line passing through the two points. Again, hanggat maaari po gumamit ng ruler and i-extend yung ating line dun sa kabuuan ng ating Cartesian plane. Dapat din po ay malinaw sa ating graph na ang slope ay 2 over 1. Kahit ano pong hanapin natin dito na exact point ay meron tayong 2 units upward and 1 unit to the left. 2 units upward and 1 unit to the left. Then next po is the second equation. For the second equation, we have negative x plus y is equals to 1. Again, lahat naman po ay 1 yung ating numerical coefficients and yung constant po ay 1 din. Kaya po, we can use the x and y intercepts. And to use the x and y intercept, we let y is equals to 0 para makuha si x-intercept. Magkakaroon tayo ng negative x is equals to 1 and we have to divide both sides by negative 1. So, the resulting value of the x-intercept is negative 1. Then, for the y-intercept, let x equals to 0. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 0 plus y is equals to 1 and y is equals to positive 1. We're going to plot these two points. Negative 1 is our x-intercept. So, sa x-axis po, negative 1. Then, ang ating y-intercept intercept is positive 1, ipa-plot natin siya sa y-axis which is positive 1. So, nandito siya sa taas. And again, draw the straight line passing through the two points at yung point of intersection po nila ang magiging solution natin to the system of linear equation and that's 2 and 
3. And intersecting po ulit yung lines natin, ibig sabihin, this system is a consistent system. Okay, huwag kalimutan ang kind ng system kapag intersecting lines, consistent kapag parallel line, inconsistent, and kapag coinciding lines, yun po ang dependent. Let's have another example. We have here 3x plus y is equal to 4 and 3x plus y is equal to 10. For the first equation, we have 3x plus y is equal to 4 and if we divide 4 by 3, magkakaroon tayo ng may decimal value and may hirapan tayo makapag-graph noon. So, we're going to use the slope and the y-intercepts. And to get that, we can use the short method to find the slope. We have negative a over b. Our a is positive 3 and our y is positive 1. And pwede na pong ito na yung sagot natin sa slope since kailangan natin ng rise over run. Then for the y-intercept, we have c over b. C is 4 and b is positive 1. And 4 divided by 1 is positive 4. So, ito po yung una natin ipaplot sa ating Cartesian plane. Hanapin natin si positive 4. Ayan po siya, positive 4. And then, use our slope, negative 3 over 1. Rise is positive 3, 3 units, 1, 2, 3. And then, ang run natin is 1. But since negative po yung ating slope, papunta po tayo sa left. So, dito po natin ipaplot yung ating second point. We have negative 1 and positive 7. Ang coordinates ng ating second point using the slope. Then, we're going to draw the straight line passing through the two points. Extend po natin yung ating line. Now, for the second equation, 3x plus y is equal to 10. And again, kapag dinivide natin si 10 by 3, magkakaroon ng decimal value. Mahihirapan tayong makapag-plot ng point. So, dun tayo sa slope and y-intercept ulit. Using the short method, slope is negative a over b. a is positive 3 and our b is positive 1. And then, the slope will be negative 3 over over 1. Positive ang rise and then ang run ay negative. Papunta sa kaliwa ang ating run. Okay? Then, for the y-intercept, we have c over b that is 10 divided by 1 and the answer is positive 10. So, ipaplot natin siya dito sa ating y-axis na positive 10. Since meron tayong 3 na rise and napansin nyo po, wala na tayo dito ang Cartesian plane, pwede tayong mag-extend dyan ng ating Cartesian plane if you want to use the rise over run. Pero, dahil ayaw na natin muna mag-extend dito, pwede naman po na mag-downward tayo pero papunta naman siya sa right downward to the right. Kabalik na ng rise over run na since negative yan, ang run ay papunta sa left. Dahil magda-downward tayo, papunta naman yung run natin sa right para negative pa rin yung slope natin. So, we have 3 units downward. 1, 2, 3. And then, to the right naman po tayo, positive 1. So, dito natin ipaplot yung ating second Point. We have the coordinates of the second point as positive 1 and positive 7. And then, we're going to draw the straight line passing through these two points. Again, same slope sila and magkaiba yung kanilang y-intercepts. Kaya po, parallel lines. At kapag parallel lines po yung ating graph, ang system po natin ay inconsistent. Okay? So, that's how we graph this system of linear equations in two variables. Again, kapag yung constant natin ay napansin natin na magkakaroon ng decimal value kapag dinivide by our numerical coefficients of x or y, wag na natin ituloy ang x and y intercept kundi gumamit tayo ng slope and y-intercepts. And kapag ang atin pong Cartesian plane ay kapos, kagaya po nang nangyari dito, kulang po yung ating Cartesian plane, hindi naka-extend, pwede po kayong mag-extend on your own po, kung naka-graph paper kayo, or pwede naman pong mag-downward tayo ng units instead na rise, and then yung run natin instead na to the left, magiging to the right, para mapakita natin na negative po yung ating slope ng ating line for the second equation. So that's for this example, let's have another example. So, we have here x minus 2y is equal to negative 5 and 2x minus 4y is equal to negative 10. For the first equation, again, we have x minus 2y is equal to negative 5 and if we divide that by negative 2, magkakaroon tayo ng decimal value. And we're going to use the slope and y-intercept negative a over b. We're going to have the numerical coefficient of x as our a, that's positive 1. And then the numerical coefficient of y, which is 
negative 2. And we have negative of negative 1 half, that's positive 1 half. While for the y-intercept, magkakaroon tayo ng c over b. So, ang c natin ay negative 5 and ang b natin is negative 2. Magkakaroon pa rin tayo ng decimal value and that is 2.5. So, kailangan po alam natin dun sa ating Cartesian plane kung nasaan yung 2.5. Ang 2.5 po ay nasa in-between ng ating 2 at ng ating 3. So, dapat sa gitnang gitna mismo noon. Ano po, ayan. Medyo niliitan ko na yung point para kitang kita na natin na nasa gitna siya. And then, from here, bibilang tayo ng 1 unit upward. So, kung 1 unit upward yun, dapat nasa kalahati pa rin tayo nung 3 and then ng 4. Nasa gitna pa rin tayo ng 3 and 4. 1 unit upward. Then, 2 units to the right kasi positive. 1 unit, 2 unit. Exact sa positive 2 pero yung kanyang y coordinate ay nasa 3.5. Tandaan po yan. So, we are going to draw the straight line passing through the two points. And this will be our first graph of the linear equation. Then, for the second equation, 2x minus 4y is equals to negative 10. Slope intercept pa rin po tayo. To use the short method, we have negative a over b. Magkakaroon tayo ng positive 2 kasi yun po yung ating numerical coefficient ni x and negative 4 na numerical coefficient ni y and that's our b. Negative of 2 over negative 4, that's positive 2 over 4. And 2 over 4, kapag ni lowest term natin, is positive 1 half. For the y-intercept, we have c over b. Magkakaroon tayo ng negative 10 over negative 4. And negative divided by negative is positive. 10 over 4 po ay, pwede pang isimplify, as to 5 over 2. And 5 over 2 is 2.5. So, same po siya nung nauna natin. Ang atin pong point ay nasa gitna ng 2 and 3. So, we have... 2.5 and then 1 unit upward and 2 units to the right for the second point using the slope. Magkakaroon tayo ng another point doon, then draw another straight line at same line po yung pinatakan ng ating dalawang graph. So, coinciding po siya at ang tawag natin dyan ay dependent system. So, may mga ganito po talagang cases talaga na hindi natin may iwasan na magkakaroon tayo ng decimal value. So, yan po yung gagawin natin. Pero, we still have another option wherein meron tayong using two points. Kung baga, magsasubstitute tayo ng value ng x to get the value of y. Para lang po magkaroon tayo ng point na pwedeng i-plot. Pwede nyo po yung balikan. Ang link po ay nandito po sa ating description box. So, that's for this example. And then, down to our last example. We have y is equals to x plus 7 and y is equals to negative 2x plus 7, we don't need to rewrite this na kasi naka-slope intercept form na siya. Siyempre, dahil nga naka-slope intercept form na siya, slope and y-intercept ang gagamitin natin. For the first equation, the numerical coefficient of x is 1, so 1 yung ating slope, and that is 1 over 1, rise over run. Then for the y-intercept, we have positive 7, and yun po yung ating unang ipaplat. Positive 7 ng y-axis, nandito po siya, and then using slope 1 and 1, 1 unit upward, 1 unit to the right, dun tayo magpaplat ng second point, then draw the straight line. Yan po yung ating first graph of the first linear equation. For the second linear equation, again, written na siya sa slope intercept form. Huwag na natin pahirapan ng sarili natin. Gamitin natin yung slope at yung y-intercept. So, for the slope, we have negative 2. And, kailangan natin ng run. So, magkakaroon tayo ng negative 2 over 1. So, negative po. Kaya, downward from left to right yung magiging line natin. Then, for the y-intercept, again, positive 7 po. And, dun po natin ipaplat yung ating first point. And then, for the slope, ito po ay 2 over 1. So, 2 units upward and then 1 unit to the left kasi negative nga po. Then, doon tayo magpa-plot ng ating point. Magkakaroon tayo ng point sa negative 1 and positive 9. Then, draw the straight line passing through the two points. Obviously, nandito po yung point of intersection nila. And again, pag meron tayong intersecting line, ang atin pong system ay consistent system. So, ito pong point na nandito which is positive 7 na y-intercept. That is the solution to the linear equation. And yun po ang solution ng linear equation ay atin po magiging topic for our next video. So, do not forget click the subscribe button, click the notification bell button, at huwag kalimutang ilike itong video na ito. Our topic for this video is about graphing systems of linear equation and we use the different methods in graphing linear equations to graph the systems of linear equation. So, I hope you learned something from this video and see you on our next video lesson.
bye bye